I definitely forgot to brush my hair this morning. It's okay. Anyways, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be shopping at Sephora for all of the viral products. I've been seeing so many viral products recently. So many new products have also been coming out. Like there's a new makeup release almost every day, it feels like. So I want to go into Sephora and only get the super viral products. And obviously, as you guys know, in my next video, I'm going to be trying out all of those products and see if they're actually worth all of the hype. But I am super excited. So let's head down to Sephora and see what we can find. We have just made it to Sephora. I don't know if you guys can see. You definitely probably can't, but we just made it there. It's a super rainy day today also, so I'm probably going to get absolutely drenched when I walk out of my car door, but I'm really hoping that we find some good stuff. The Sephora that I go to is always really stocked because not really a lot of people go to this specific Sephora right here, so it is always just almost fully in stock all the time, but that pretty much gives me a higher chance of finding all of the viral stuff, so let's hit in there right now. I'm so, so excited to see what we can find. Right, our first stop is Glow Recipe. I'm actually going to get a big size of the toner. I've been recently picking up the small size and it just, it doesn't really last me as long. So I think I'm finally just going to end up getting the big size. This is also a really viral product, but so many people, including me, love it. And I've also been wanting to try the pink juice moisturizer as well. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the mini size. Are we actually surprised at this point? And I also forget that they have so many different serums. I don't really think I need any of these right now, but they're just so, so pretty. I always love the packaging of Glow recipe. I have also tried their hyaluronic cream, which is okay. It's definitely not my favorite. It just doesn't really do anything for my skin. It kind of dries my skin out, if anything. Okay, so the day has finally come where I'm gonna try out the House Labs foundation. Um, I'm pretty sure I would be this shade. I think it's fair neutral, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I'm gonna pick this up. Someone let me know in the comments and told me that it's more like a skin tint kind of foundation, and that sold me because I don't really like super thick, heavy foundations, but if they're saying that this is like a skin tint, then that makes me want to try it out. Okay, you guys know I've been wanting to try the new Lux Balm from Fenty Skin for so long. They finally have it in stock, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this out. I've been wanting to try this for literally forever, and I'm really excited to see how it is. And they finally put Danessa Myricks in my Sephora. One of my first times seeing this brand. The last time I actually saw this brand for the first time was when I went to Sephora in Beverly Hills. I've also been wanting to try the skin tint, but I just picked up the foundation, so I think I'm just gonna leave it at the foundation for now. All right, so we are in Benefit right now. I recently just tried out the Dandelion Twinkle. It's actually a very like subtle kind of powder highlighter. It has like kind of a sheen to it almost, which is really, really pretty. I also just recently tried out the new Fenty Beauty Concealer. Could not stand it, you guys. It was definitely not my favorite. I just didn't really think it was like anything too special. And I didn't even know that they had like glow drops, but this makes your pores look a lot less, or I guess it just reduces the appearance of pores. And I was debating on what shade, because this one looks very yellow for me, but this one also might be too light. So I don't know, I'm still kind of contemplating this, but I just had no idea that they had drops, but I wouldn't really say this is viral. I mean, I've not seen it anywhere. And they finally have the Baby Bake Loose Powder in pink or cherry blossom from Huda Beauty. I recently just purchased the peach pie, so it'd be super pointless for me to pick up this one, but oh my gosh, I kind of want it so bad. I also do kind of want to get the big size because it's way less messy, but like I have no need for it right now. This looks absolutely gorgeous from Charlotte Tilbury. I was going to pick it up, but they actually don't have any in stock right now, which is probably a good thing since it's $75. But how gorgeous is this? I so want it. But I'm actually really contemplating picking up the Charlotte Magic Serum. $85 is super, super pricey, you guys, but I might pick up the mini size. I don't know. Let's go check it out and see. I also really love of their eyes to mesmerize their liquid eyeshadow or cream eyeshadow whatever it's just so pricey i have pillow talk i just feel like the price of this you can get like its own eyeshadow palette and i've tried pretty much all of the beauty light wands or is that what they're called i don't know the beauty wands <laughs> anyways i've tried the contour i've tried the highlighter and I've tried the matte blush and also the liquid blush. These are super just 
Ugh. I don't really love these at all, to be honest. They make my skin look super patchy. I've also been wanting to pick up this Whey body cream for quite a while now. I've been thinking about getting this for like a year almost. And since I've been thinking about it for that long, I thought might as well. And they also have this new hair brand right here. I've never heard of this, never even seen it anywhere, but I think it looks pretty cool. The packaging is so, so gorgeous. And this is actually not a bad price. I think this is like a hair dryer or something. Probably not, actually. I don't even know what this is, but it looks really fun. Guys, I'm gonna make a super impulsive decision. I think I'm gonna pick up the big size because this is $30 for a mini size like this, and I feel like I'm actually gonna really enjoy this a lot. And then I'm just gonna have to come back and get the big size, which is just like another 85 bucks. And if I don't like it, I can always return it as well. But this is actually kind of impulsive, but at the same time, I've been wanting this for so long. And I also went ahead and picked up a small size of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Should I try something else from Hourglass? I've already tried out the concealer. I absolutely love it. It's definitely one of my top like two or three concealers right now. I just love the finish on it. It is so natural and airbrushed. I've been seeing these blushes everywhere as well and I really wanted to try one of these out. I decided against it because they all kind of look exactly the same. Like I swatched them right here and I just couldn't really tell which shade I liked the best. And I didn't really think there was a shade that I loved the best so I think for right now we're gonna hold off on this I've also heard really great things about their setting powder too I've seen this go viral quite a few times I don't really have a need for a setting powder right now but it's definitely something I would really love to try I've also tried out the one size setting powder I don't know if you guys know my opinion on it but my opinion is basically that it's not the best <laughs> I just feel like the grains are very thick like it's not a very fine powder so it kind of looks a little bit splotchy. And I also have recently tried out the Soft Pop Blush Sticks from Makeup by Mario. Um, I definitely wouldn't really say they're anything crazy. I don't even think I really like these, to be honest. I have this shade right here and it just lifts all of my makeup off. Like it says brightens and lifts complexion. Like it actually lifts my makeup off. So, I mean, they weren't really wrong about that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But like, it's just, they're not that great. I've also wanted to try the contour sticks. I mean, I do have quite a few already and it's not really something I'm like super eager to try, but I do love their brushes. Like they they make the best brushes ever and I kind of want to get the foundation brush. And I think it'd be pretty fun if I used this side as foundation and this side maybe as blush. Cause I feel like this could work really great with like a liquid or cream blush but other than that there's not really anything else I'm too keen on trying from this brand but I have recently tried out their lip serum which is so so good you guys I absolutely love this but this one is kind of giving black honey almost from Clinique and Kosas released a new BB cream I've seen a couple of reviews already and I believe they were like 50 50 I've seen people say they love it and people say they don't really love it as much I don't really have any desire to try this one out, but I do know Tower 28 has a new lip oil or lip balm, so let's go ahead and see if we can find that. Well, they do have them, but they're all sold out besides from the clear one, and I don't really want the clear one. I really want to try the watermelon kiwi. This one's just so cute, but they're kind of giving Carmex almost. Like, I don't really love the applicators on these either. I don't know. They smell really good though. Like, I've smelled a couple of them already, and the smell is super accurate, but I was looking down at their lip glosses I do love their lip glosses a lot and I kind of want to pick out a different shade I have almond right now and it's just I don't know why I picked it up before but I think I want to try either magic or XOXO this one is such a pretty pink but this one kind of has like a shimmer to it which I think would be super fun really wanted to try out the Tarte wand which is like a bronzing wand which is apparently a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury and I so wanted to get that in here but I don't think they have it so I'm thinking it's just in Ulta not too sure though, but I'm not seeing it here and I've seen it in Ulta, so I'm guessing it's just exclusive to Ulta. Don't exactly know, but I just love looking at the Tarte Maracujas. I feel like every time I come in, they always have way more released and they also have a plumping lip liner, which how fun is that? Like, would that even work? I don't know. But I was looking at this. They have a Maracuja Juicy Glow. I feel like they're really sticking to this like kind of packaging type of thing because it's definitely working for them. They also have all of 
the Summer Fridays lip oils in stock. I recently tried Pink Cloud. I feel like the formula isn't anything insane. I don't love these, but I don't really love the Summer Fridays lip balms either. I really wanted to try the new Milk Makeup. I don't even know how you explain it. I hope you guys know what I'm about to say, but it's all over my For You page. It's basically like a jelly kind of lip stain and cheek stain. Hopefully you guys know what I'm saying, but I thought they were gonna have them here, but they don't. I don't know, I'm so upset because I really wanted to try that today. And I just love all of the pretty shades that they have. This one is so pretty too. Love this highlighter right here. It's definitely one of my favorites of all time. And I also love this little duo palette right here that they have. This one's also pretty. Oh my gosh, Fenty Beauty just has the best stuff, honestly. I'm also super keen on trying the Laguna Bronzing Cream from NARS. This just looks so pretty. I already have the Say one, which it just looks so, so similar, but I feel like this packaging is almost prettier. All right, you guys, Patrick Ta released new shades of the powder blush. This one is gorgeous. It's a very subtle pink. I don't like the crazy pink shades right here, but this is a very, very natural kind of pink. And I've been super into that recently. And he also has new lip glosses. I feel like these shades are new. I know he already had lip glosses, but these shades. And we are in Drunk Elephant. I always feel so satisfied when all of the drops are stocked. And I always forget that they have a cleansing balm. That looks really fun to try. I already just got a new one from e.l.f. So I don't really have a need for that right now. And we are currently in pharmacy right now. I don't really see enough people talk about this brand. I've tried a couple things from this brand just from samples and stuff. I really used to be a huge fan of the Honey Halo. I just like to try new stuff, so that's why I haven't repurchased it yet, but it's still really, really great. And also they have a Honey Eye Cream, and I don't know why, you guys, but eye creams are always so expensive for no reason. So we're currently in one size, and they have this Secure the Glow Hydrating Primer. I feel like this would be a lot like the e.l.f. Power Grip for some reason. I mean, it kind of has that dewy finish, hydrating. I don't really know if it's tacky, but there's not really anything from one size that kind of screams out to me that I just want to try. Okay, so in Huda Beauty, I had no idea they had these blush sticks. I've not seen these anywhere. These look so cool and fun. See, it's like pearlescent. What's the word? <laughs> Hopefully you guys know what I'm saying. I forget the word for this. But look how pretty it has like a shine to it. These two shades are so gorgeous too. I also don't really see a lot of people talk about Anastasia Beverly Hills anymore, but these lip glosses are so pretty. I love this kind of pink shade right here in Cotton Candy. That's so fitting. And they also have a shimmer shade as well. Okay, so I just got back from Sephora. The ladies that work there are probably so sick of seeing me come in. Like they probably see me walk through the doors and they're like, oh my God, it's this girl again. Yeah. Anyways, I bought quite a few things from Sephora today. I'm so, so excited about everything that I got. So when I get home, I'm gonna show you guys a haul of everything. I feel like I didn't really get too much makeup. I feel like I got more skincare, if anything, but I'm still gonna be filming its own separate video of just trying all of this stuff out. So let's go ahead, head home right now, and I can show you guys what I ended up getting. So it is the next day. I did not have enough time to film my Sephora haul yesterday. So I'm really sorry if I look really awful right now. I just got back from the gym, so I look a little bit iffy. But I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting from Sephora yesterday. So let's go ahead and get into it. I didn't really get too much stuff, but it came out to be pretty expensive because I got more expensive things this time. First off, we have the Makeup by Mario F4 brush. This is meant for foundation, but apparently it's very versatile and you could just use this for a lot of different cream products. So I'm super excited to try this out. I absolutely love the Makeup by Mario brushes in general, so this is a new one to add to my collection. This is a restock, but I ended up getting the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pore Tight Toner. Absolutely love this toner so much. I've been getting the mini size for the past couple times I've bought it, and I was like, you know what? Definitely about time that I get the big size, so it will last me a lot longer. I got a mini size of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I have been wanting to try this for so long, but I never actually decided to get it because of the price. This was $30 for this little moisturizer. And it is a little steep, but I feel like most moisturizers, like the sample small sizes, are around like $25 to $30 anyways. Next up, I got the House Labs Foundation. I am so excited to try this. Everyone has said that this is the best foundation ever. 
I don't even think I've seen one bad review about this, so I'm really hoping I'm gonna enjoy it. You guys know that I don't really wear foundation that much, just because I find that most of them always make my skin look really cakey, but someone commented and let me know, let me know, that this is like more of a skin tint kind of foundation. I got the Way St. Bart's Body Cream. Absolutely love the smell of this. It smells so heavenly. And Patrick Ta also has a new shade of the cream and powder blush. And I got shade Just Enough. And this is a really like baby pink kind of shade. Recently, I don't know what it is, but I've been super into like the baby pink shades of blush. I feel like since I'm really pale right now, it looks really nice. I also got a mini size of the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Moisturizer. So excited to try this. I've been seeing this everywhere. And then I finally got my hands on the Fenty Skin Luxe Balm, which is just a very hydrating lip balm. And I did it. I got the big size of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. This is 85 bucks, but I have been thinking about getting this for quite some time. And the mini size is like this big for $30. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well just get the big size because either way, the small size is probably gonna last me like one to two uses anyways, since it's so small. And I could just return this if I don't like it anyways. And finally, I picked up the Tower 28 Lip Jelly. I already have this, but in shade Almond and it's just way too dark and it doesn't really match my skin tone. And this one is like a glittery kind of clear gloss, which I don't own. So super excited about this one. Hopefully I'll reach for this one a lot more. But yeah, you guys, that summarizes my viral Sephora makeup shopping spree and skincare, I guess. I got kind of a lot of skincare, I feel like. Maybe not. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I know that you guys love my Sephora shopping videos, so I'm trying to push out as much as possible for you guys. I also do want to go to Ulta and do a shopping for viral products at Ulta video, which you guys should be expecting very soon. But anyways, I love you all so, so much. I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye!